Hey guys, I'm Chili. Welcome to my brand new series. This one is going to be a game creation project. We are going to create a 2D action RPG here. This short video is just to give you an idea about what this series is about and how shit is going to go down. Now there's three main goals I have for this series. The first one is to practice the stuff that was introduced in the C++ tutorial series. The second goal is I want to show off the process of creating a more ambitious project. Uh, up until now in the C++ series, I've been doing simple games like Snack, and I've only been implementing the bare bones features. But this time, I want to create something with a lot more substance, a lot more mechanics and systems. It's going to be far more complex and large. And the reason for that is, well, first of all, I want to inspire other people in the community to, you know, people who have been following the tutorials, who have been leveling up, I want them to take the step to try to create something a little bigger. And I also want to show the kinds of architecture problems that crop up when you're dealing with a project that has a large size and a large complexity. The third goal for this series is just to make something cool, just something fun for me because I'm tired of implementing, you know, just the simple basic core of common games like uh, Snake and Minesweeper. I want to add a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of uh, character. I want to make something that's fun for me. Now you might be asking, well why is this a separate series? Up until now you've done the games like Snake in line with the C++ tutorials. And the reason is, is that this is going to take a hell of a lot more time and a hell of a lot more work than those games. And I don't want to stall those series waiting for this game to finish. Could be quite a long time. I want to keep moving on teaching new C++ topics. And also, I don't want to dilute that playlist. The C++ tutorial playlists are mainly for teaching new topics, mainly for teaching new C++ language topics. And this one isn't going to be about teaching new topics, it's going to be about applying what we've learned to make a game. And that leads me to one more thing I want to make clear. This is not going to be a tutorial, it is going to be a chronicle of a journey. Uh, if I made this a step-by-step -step tutorial, I'd be here for ages. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be charting the progress of the project, the steps of development. I'm also going to have talks about design, I'm going to have random rants and stories, and I'm going to give explanations and diagrams of difficult or interesting things that I come across in the course of development. So there will be teaching, there will be knowledge bombs, but this is not going to be a step-by-step, -step, hold your hand slash dick tutorial. Just know one thing. Many things here are going to be suboptimal for two reasons. Reason one is I'm limiting my code to what has been covered in the tutorials. So sometimes I'm going to be writing code that is not optimal. I'll probably refactor it later on. Uh, number reason two, and this is the important one, I want to show people that you don't need to craft a tome like 1000 page design document and plan out every single boring little detail to make a decent scaled game. I'm mostly just going to jump in here and see where the code takes me, refactoring and reassessing as I go. Now I'm not saying that planning is a bad thing. But what I often see people do is they get stuck in the trap of forever planning, forever hesitating, never pushing a project forward. Proper planning is essential for a large scale project, but as a learner, you're not making some epic scale project to start off with, and if you are, you're fucking doing it wrong. You're making a medium, single purpose game engine to test and practice what you've learned and to get experience and build some intuition about code design and structure. And you're not going to build that intuition, that sense, by being a timid little bitch and hesitating at every turn. You build that shit by getting dirty, by taking chances, by making mistakes, and by motherfucking writing some goddamn code. And that's what I'm going to show here. Now to make up for the lack of hand-holding, I'm going to be putting a lot more commenting and documentation into the source code itself. And it is kind of expected that you're going to be following along with the code. As usual, the code is going to be on GitHub. Links to all the resources are going to be on uh, the wiki page for this project. So make sure you check the wiki page and you keep checking the wiki page as I update it. Link will always be in the description. And if something is unclear or you just have some ideas, discussion and questions about what I do, you can have that in the comments. You can have it on the forum, on the Discord, or even on Twitter. 
Man, that's about it. I'm real excited to get uh, started on this journey, and I hope you are excited too. And if you are, uh, it would really help if you click the like button for this video, maybe left a comment, especially for the first video in a series. That kind of engagement really drives new people to the video. That said, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with some more RPG Project Twin.